We are talking about 4,000 children who are dead. And if I may be very clear, those are the most unpleasant deaths that these children could have died. They're being crushed in their homes, they're losing their limbs, they're go undergoing surgery without anesthetics. What we are witnessing is horrifying, no matter the definition, and it should shock the conscience of all of us. You know, we, we are doctors in our nature, and what you are asking us to do with the humanitarian pause is to bring in the equipment necessary to stitch people up and repair them, and then to start the bombing again, and for us to then fix them. That is not enough. We need a ceasefire. I mean, what we are seeing right now is dozens and dozens of medical facilities in Gaza which are absolutely raised to the ground. There is no capacity in Gaza at this point to care for the wounded who are there already. There are 3,500 beds in Gaza. Most of them are not available to patients at this point, and there are 10,000 plus wounded. Our surgeons are literally doing surgery on people on the ground, outside, in tents, in open air. There is no capacity at this point for a pause. We have to stop and allow the system to be able to rebuild, to be able to provide care.